We're facing a crisis of extinctions. But why should we conserve nature and wildlife? Why is the countryside important? The easy answer is a simple one, in that we should conserve nature because people, on the whole, love it. Look at how people seek out the green parks within our cities to enjoy on a summer's day. Or look at the value a garden adds to a property. Or the significant sums that people will spend to go watch exciting wildlife across the globe. So nature then can be joyful or calming or inspiring. But does this mean that nature is a luxury? What about nature in our day-to-day -day lives? Well, there are a number of services that nature provides that we often forget about. Nature can be used to reduce flooding through upland reforestation, produces the very oxygen we breathe and pollinates our crops. These are called ecosystem services and are absolutely crucial. For instance, there are areas of China where overuse of pesticides has destroyed all pollinators. These pear trees are being pollinated by hand at extraordinary expense. So it feels very much like spring here at the small conservation project in Yorkshire. Uh, there's a few bits of the field that I'll show you. It's a small 10 acre site next to an already established wildlife reserve. We planted 1700 trees here three years ago and they're really starting to establish themselves. We recently put up a camera trap in the corner of the field near the river and uh, what it captures is really rather exciting. A rump of otters, a female with two cubs. The camera gives off a faint glow, but this family is clearly in a relaxed mood. They're using this area next to the river as a dust bath to clean themselves. There are more hairs per square inch of otter fur than on the entire human head, and this thick coat traps air bubbles creating a warm, insulating layer while they swim. Play for these year-old youngsters is infectious. Otters are excellent mothers. They teach fishing techniques by, after catching a fish, releasing it for the youngsters to then re-catch. Otters are a real conservation success story. It is thought that the banning of certain potent pesticides has allowed rivers to flourish once again, and otters are now found across much of the UK. Two hours later, another otter appears. We think this may be the male. Males and females rarely interact, and only during the breeding season. With the cubs growing older, the female may be about to come into heat. So we'd never seen the otter, uh, but we knew they were in the area. Uh, so getting that footage was really very exciting indeed. Um, with this blog, I'm going to keep you guys updated on this small conservation project. Uh, maybe discuss some conservation issues and obviously let you know if anything exciting happens or we see anything like the otter again. Uh, I'll leave you with some last bits of camera trap footage, uh, including a really cool stoat. We also caught some other local residents utilising the same spot. Including a pair of grey squirrels that may be nesting in this tree. Now here's an interesting bit of footage. A stoat appears on the right hand side of the screen. The squirrel comes and chases him off, but must have lost sight of him. As a moment later, we see the stoat returning to the ground. For updates on when the next conservation vlog will be, follow at Badger Rhino on Twitter.